I've snuck into an abandoned house to talk about why you shouldn't get married. Um, the passage is uh, 1 Corinthians 7 verses 25 to 40. And uh, to summarise it really, really quickly, Paul's talking to the church in Corinth and he's talking about why um, he doesn't think it's always the best idea to get married. Um, he's clear that this isn't a command from God, it's just his opinion, although, you know, obviously a trustworthy and wise voice. Um, so basically, he just he just talks about how, you know, if you're uh, single, you have all this time that you can devote to God and worship and serving God that, by definition, you just can't have when you're married and you're concerned about uh, your spouse and your, uh, your family and obviously loads of uh, anxieties can grow out of that. Um, and he's just saying, you know, that it's, a good, it's not always a good thing to get married. Consider your options. Think, do I want to have this uh, big thing in my life that is taking up all this time? And just, I really only had one thought on this, which was that it's a shockingly uh, countercultural thing. Even the church, I'd say that the kind of assumption, like, or at least when I started off life, and I think for a lot of people, when you start off life, you kind of think, you picture your future and you picture like having, getting married, having that relationship, possibly children um, later in life. And it's kind of like, I'd say that maybe we say to ourselves, the priority is, um, my priority is to have a romantic relationship. And if I have a bit of spare time, you know, that I will serve God with that time. Whereas Paul's expectation is, you know, um, my priority is serving God. And if I have spare time and energy, then I can have a romantic relationship. Obviously, Paul chooses not to. And um, he says, you know, maybe you want to think about that. Do you, do you want to have that time that you could be spending in devotion to God? Do you want to have that taken up by something else? Even something that we would regard as like the number one point of life. For a lot of people, I think that they think that's the number one thing to have in life. But Paul doesn't see it that way. And he does say in verse 35, Look, I say this for your own benefit, not to lay any restraint upon you, but to promote good order and to secure your undivided devotion to the Lord. And, and personally, I just find that a massive challenge. Um, you know, whether or not you're married or, or single, you know, divorced, widowed, whatever, um, the expectation that Paul has, his priorities, and the fact that he puts that relationship with God and the, the time for de devotion to God, as clearly the number one most important thing, and then everything else submits to that um, as a challenge. And I don't think, uh, I certainly don't, uh, haven't seen life in that way, and uh, I don't. So that's a challenge. How how do we see that time with God? Do we prioritise it as much as you know? Paul seems to think, oh, it's natural to do. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, really, um, the last thing is, I guess, if you're single um, right now. Think about, you know, is this time that you have, are you seeing it as a time that you can spend in devotion to God and in worship to God and uh, in service to God? You know, um, perhaps, you know, you've just kind of seen this time that you're single as a time kind of just not waiting around, but kind of waiting around to get married. Um, I know that sometimes we can see it that way. Um, and, you know, God, you know, has given you this time. Um, it's precious time and it's time that you have to spend in devotion and service to God and you don't know how long the season's going to be um, you know so maybe don't just treat it like it maybe a few months or maybe a, a few years until I get married you don't know what God's got in store for you um, so um, yeah just let's all think married or unmarried but particularly unmarried um, how are we using our time are we using the time that we've got spare to dedicate it to God to serving God what does he have for you in this season I think we're there. <laughs> See you tomorrow.